Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 51, recorded on March 11th, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. I'm Agent Sally Belly. And uh, we are here tonight to talk about ingress updates and a bunch of other stuff. So let's get into it. One thing I would like to know, because I've been away. Yeah. Uh, I did watch last week's episode. Good job. Good Which, job. Okay. Kind so it was okay? Thing. Yeah. I really liked yeah. it. I didn't understand most of it, but I really liked it. And <laughs> it seemed like it was probably good. Um, I stuff, thought it was. I thought it was good it was information. Like, it was like here for me a little bit. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but it was great to get that depth of the game like out there and talked about and stuff. So. So, well, at some uh, point, we should probably get into that stuff to get it down to here. Like, what, you get, know. To fill this in for me? Yeah, because there's a ton of people. Get up there? Yeah. Yeah. Because well, there's a ton I of think, people who want that info. Yeah. Um, I had a bad week last week. So, for people who. I don't know if you covered. I don't know if you said why I was out. We probably didn't. But my yeah. dog was sick. Really sick. Like, he couldn't get out of bed sick. And he was. Had this weird growth on his leg going like growing really fast we had to go to emergency er vet and it was obviously er emergency vet i guess it's redundant but um thought it was cancer he's we've had him eight years and we got him from a shelter and he was full grown we got him so we don't know how old he is he's very old he's arthritic i mean so we were like fearing the worst um didn't have the lab results back he was on you know six different pills <laughs> for the week. So I was just like, that was Sunday. And then Monday e. night, like we were still trying to get him to eat pills and like stuff like that and helping him like walk and get around and, and just getting him to lay. Cause the thing, the growth, and this is gross, but it grew so fast. It broke through his skin. Oh so God. That's how he got infected. Yeah. And um, it grew so fast. We, we barely noticed it just the other day, like obviously a week ago now, but, uh, just a couple days before we're like oh he's got another little bump but he he gets bumps like like old dogs get bumps so right. we didn't think much of it until um like two days later and it was like oh my gosh what is this so anyway long story longer <laughs> i was stressed i didn't know what was going on i was in no mood to have a happy chat about ingress at all i was what? fearing the worst for my dog so it turns out we got the lab results back finally last night. He does not have cancer. Oh, that's good. Um, and he has responded very well to the antibiotics. And he is back to his old annoying self. He's trying to get in the garbage. And, <laughs> 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 and it's just same old dog. you know. So, <laughs> um, so we're happy that he's back to annoying us full time. And uh, we can just get that little bit of uh thing removed so it stops growing like crazy and um that'll just be that'll be done he'll be all set for millions of years well good he'll be fine yes so that's that's my terrible news last week turned into really good news this week that's and that's pretty much been my week because i was like totally not caring about doing anything else and uh yeah well that's understandable yeah what was your week like Tell me stuff. Tell um, me ingress stuff. Tell oh, ingress stuff. Um, you know, it was um, it was it was kind of a slow week, so it's kind of like dipping into, I guess, uh, multiple weeks at this point because we just did anomalies last week. But um, a, a couple weeks ago, I I think it was after you talked about uh, Prime and stuff. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it again, and so I decided to go like full time Prime. And how'd you do? And I, you know, I would say ninety percent of the time, I I loved it. I I actually thought it was faster 
at um, like resonating a, a portal and deploying shields on it and even linking like you can just fly through links now if, if you know like you're cool to link all these things you don't have to like kind of look I, it's actually faster than uh, redacted I mean even with redacted on Android you can hit the back button real quick and throw links pretty fast uh, but this one basically has that same feature without having to hit a back button you just keep hitting your link and, and go and I, I was pretty surprised at that because the last time I played it, I was just like, I could not do it. I just, it, everything was just kind of clunky and I, I mean, I'd been using it on and off for a while, so I don't think it was like a I just awesomely got used to it. Like the, um, you know, just the features and where everything is. Um, but it was just, it just feels a lot better now. So I urge anyone who's, um, you know, played early on and were just like, Ugh to go give it another try now it is a lot better now saying that there are some things that there is one bug that kept happening to me um on on my way to work as i would pull into like a farm and i feel like it's almost like the uh speed lock issue but the thing is i'm this area where i go into i'm really not going that fast like i'm really probably only like at 40 or so as i get to there but it would just give me the red scanner communication error just over oh. and over again, and I'd close out and come back in, close out and come back in. It just would not clear up, so I'd go into redacted, do what I need to do, um, and then I would even check after that, and it would still give me the message. So I don't know what the issue is there. Like that is weird, yeah. But I feel I haven't had that experience. I don't know. Well, and and that, and then um, so on. I guess it was Sunday. I had made this mission at our local like walk around outside mall uh for my for my daughter because she she drew me this really cool frog uh picture and i was like i'll make it a mission and uh, she'll love i'll surprise her with this like hey let's go do this mission and we'll go do it and it'll be like her artwork and so uh we took the whole family and went down there to do that but uh my wife's scanner just would not she could not log in like she had logged in at home to make sure she could was up to date and everything and, and that was all good but once we got there just 20 minutes of trying to go in and out refreshing closing whatever just could not log in it would just give you that i forget the message but it's basically um retry you know or try yeah. a new, new account so she was just like that's okay, because she's not really big into ingress anyway, that's, you know? Yeah, like, that's a real barrier for people who are, like, semi into it. They're not super into it, but they, they could go in, and they probably would have a good time if they could get into it. But if they're not into it, they're like, all right, forget it. Yeah. I'll do something else. And then that's the problem, because this great experience they could have had is gone, and then they're spending that time doing something else, and then that's... It just makes it less likely for them to return to Ingress, yeah. especially like, all right, your wife has you to kind of pull her back in. But for anyone who's like an independent player, like they don't have like a social uh, buddy. Yeah. And they're just like, along. I'm like, done. What's going to pull them back? Yeah. 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 So, so it's that's frustrating. And that's all the community. And so I, you know, I don't know what the answer is. I mean, besides just, you know, hey, fix it. But um, maybe better error messaging with, Maybe a link for possible solutions. <laughs> like do a patch to fix the error messages right? message, but not just fix the error. <laughs> well, you're right. So, uh, but right. it, like it may not be something fixable, but I, I, I don't know. I just figure, because it could just be like, um, you're banned or that's a bad login or, or something. Yeah. Um, so if it's something like that message, but um, like I said, she could log in at home. So it wasn't like. An account issue I don't feel uh, but anyway besides that th I mean that was just you know really three times over the past two weeks I had to pull out redacted and yeah. use it and um, I'm really happy with it like we've got this update we'll talk about the news it's got some more cool stuff um, besides that I started the ruck your dog uh, Vane right. uh, talked about this on a previous episode about uh, go ruck yeah. doing these monthly uh, rucking things and for this month it's it's ruck your dog so you take your dog rucking and they're doing it to support some um, uh, dog foundation thing I should probably have the name of it in there but yeah, um, yeah. I was busy rucking my dog and yeah. so oh I should put that picture on the Instagram anyway I, it's on my Twitter I think are you I, mind to put it, it 
Does it count if I wrecked my dog, but my dog was the thing I was carrying? <laughs> um, I think so. I was carrying him to the vet, carrying him to the car. <laughs> I think so. I think so. All right. All right. So I only signed up for the 10 miles. You could do like 25, 50, a billion, whatever miles you wanted right. to. Um, but since I, I'm not, this is my first time like wrecking at all. And my dog, um, if I don't get out and walk, my dog gets out to walk even less than I do. Like he was, after half a mile, he was just looking at me like, what, what are we doing? Like, this There's seems no like a lot here. of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, so we've done three miles and I got seven more to do before the end of the month. Um, but we'll, we'll get it. And if anybody yeah. else is doing it, rucking it, um, let us know. Send us a picture. I want to. That sounds cool. I want it to be not icy out when I do start a ruck, though, you know? It's a good idea. I, I know, I know, like, the idea is, like, go out and face the elements and be this fierce, amazing warrior of outsideness, but uh, uh, I've got to start somewhere. You know, you can't start there. It's gotta cold. Start. We'll get to you that. Gotta start, like, with 65 and, <laughs> like, that it, you know? <laughs> uh, and thank you, Agent uh, Kevin Shaw in the chat room says it's a uh, for pets for patriots. Is, oh, okay. So, like, the level you donate, you donate, um, you donate money for that, too. So, like, for the 10 miles, I think it was $25. And they'll send you a patch at the end of the month. Um, That's cool. For for doing participating in doing it. So, um, anyway, that will be more stuff to talk about if I can get through it. And you we will. have some totally art uh, agent academy stuff we're going to talk about in the, uh, I guess the front end of the show right now. Uh, first, I wanted to say thank you to the current uh, Twitch subscribers. And now I took these as of like yesterday so if you subscribe between then we'll get you next month but check your email or your twitch mail i'm not sure it just says email your subscribers and so i don't know if it emails you for real or if it just sends it to your twitch like message uh, but i sent a passcode to uh, arctic rebel firesight 2 sherlock's one jbj blaze and finnegan m who are uh, the current subscribers so go check it out go get your passcode for ingress and thank you so much for subscribing and there's new emotes in the chat. You can now do a red solo cup or a or a, a K power cube. So uh, go use them. Have fun. And uh, last week I forgot to give out the code. I gave it out, I believe, in the post for the show as well as possibly in chat. I can't remember. But if you listened last week, now this is... You're on your honor here. This, we're using the honor system here. So if you didn't listen to the show last week, don't use this passcode. But if you listen to it, you can enter in this passcode to get the uh, badge for last week. And that's AAEP50AA. Super simple. AAEP50AA. And you'll get the, the uh, badge for last week. And we'll give you the badge for this week later on. So stay tuned. For that and this sit, 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 situation report that's the news this is the news Woohoo! yes i like that excitement it's good stuff um <laughs> so we had um a bunch of stuff so andrew put up a ama no answers yet, but I'm sure they're coming. But he has put up a new Telegram channel. I don't know if you've seen this yet. It's I did. Andrew Krug or Red Solo Cups League of Ingress Agents. What do you think so far? I didn't really get into it. You know I don't like Telegram. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get there. I, so. I I joined it. I was like, all right, yeah, that's another telegram. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I'm in like oh, 15 telegrams and they're just like so much. It's just like, oh. so I like, <laughs> I glance at our show one and I have one that you and I share privately and I look at that one and pretty much that's it. Occasionally someone <laughs> will message me and I'll like look at it and I'll think oh, I'll get back to that. And then like a week later, I'm like, oh, I didn't get back to that. <laughs> 
but I use Discord, I use Slack, and I use Telegram, and I try and I try to use Telegram, but it's like, oh, it's just so much. It's just another chats. one. I know, too many. and I know you got to keep up with all of them. It's just the only way. That's just the way it is. So <laughs> I'm I'm working on it, but um, I think it's cool. I do want to like kind of dig into it more, the his chat channel, but it. This week it was just kind of like this exercise in keeping up with the necessities of chats. So maybe that will become one of my necessities in the future. Maybe, but I, I know what you mean because it's like with work I've got to use Slack. Um, yeah. And with uh, most of the gamers, I have to use Discord. And I really haven't been gaming much lately. Like besides, you know, I'm pretty much ingress or getting ready for the show or or. Um, Doing some other stuff. So I don't really get in Discord that much either. Uh, so Telegram is kind of like my go-to because I'm doing stuff with Ingress so much. That's where a lot of the chats are. And that's where I like them. Um, I, there's a lot in Slack too, but I'm not really a big fan of Slack. Uh, I just like Telegram because it's mobile first and it makes it so much easier when you're in the See, field. Now- I, pr- I use Telegram on my PC because I prefer PC chatting because mm-hmm. I hate texting on my phone it's like i'm not fast like that like i'm right. fast i could type like a million miles a minute and so i prefer that one yeah. and i could sit there and copy paste and cut things and use you know alt tab you know over here and then grab stuff and shove it in there where on my phone i'm like oh where was that right <laughs> And I'm like, no, I didn't mean to spell ducking. I never meant to spell ducking. (laughs) (laughs) It was plucking. Yeah, plucking what I was looking for. That's uh, yeah. I and and I get that because I used to hate texting, like I hated it. And then when I switched to Android with their like swipe to type thing, like it's so different. And it took a while to like get used to, but now it's just it feels so much easier to um, chat. But yeah. I don't chat as much on the phone. Like I, I probably do it on the PC more. Like so I, during the day, I'm just kind of reading and following along. And then when I get home, <laughs> like at work all day, like I can't sit there and if I'm looking at my phone, people know I'm not working. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I have to like if I can keep it up on my monitor, you know, that's a little better. <laughs> yeah. And we use Slack for work, so that's so the that other thing out. too. Yeah. That makes it easier. So. Yeah, some of those other chats have to get neglected because I can't have them all on either. You know? Right, it's like you need a, a computer just for your chats. Yeah. The chat yeah, system. So. Yeah. Maybe they'll put some better chat into Prime. Probably not. But um, So anyway, it's it's uh, his Telegram channel. is It's pretty cool. He'll throw passcodes out every once in a while. And then he'll do like uh, polls and stuff and questions about the game. Um, you know, some social media just stuff for Ingress too, like this new that new so it's it's um it feels like a pretty good way for him to get information out without having to um sift through all the responses that makes sense like it can be hard to like post something somewhere where now you have to follow the comments and respond to them all the time or if you can just have a place where you can just kind of barf everything and then save the discussion for somewhere else i don't know it seems to me, it works, but that sounds uh, cool. See how yeah. it goes, and we'll we'll link to that in the show notes as well. If you you aren't in yet, into his uh, channel. Also, it was announced that Darsana Prime Weekend Two, the persons of interest uh, for the event, Hank Johnson and Jahan, will be heading to Atlanta, where uh, Bogdanovich, uh, Devon, and uh, Roland Jarvis are no. Dever will be going to Nuremberg, and Roland Jarvis will be going to Tokyo. So, um, get ready to see them, hear from them. Be sure to capture what they say and stuff, because it could be some interesting stuff. Ask them some questions and send it to us so we can show it on the air. Something. Also, version 2.19. Big feature coming out. I don't know if you've looked at seen the news about this i have so regional scoring i don't know if i'm excited or not because that means it's one step closer to redacted going away oh that's true yeah i mean regional scoring that's like 
Regional scoring and submitting portals is the only reason why I go back to Redacted ever. It's the only reason why I have it on my phone. So that's one less reason. And I don't really... I'm not a regional scorer. Like, I'm not one of those, like, heavy hitters. So. Uh, but I do like to just check it out and see who's there from time to time, you know? Right. But, yeah, but, like, it's definitely one one step closer to no more redacted right yeah uh, yeah yeah i mean but, once they get portal submissions in there there's not much left to have it around for and they've said yeah. i'm scaring everybody i'm sorry i'm scaring everyone <laughs> <laughs> the xm is falling mm -hmm. start using prime folks <laughs> I, th I think i think it's good for people to start using it um, for whatever reason, but also I think with them getting off the platform, if if everybody saw all the cool stuff that they announced yesterday for Harry Potter for the Wizards Unite, there's a lot of cool features that they can't do yet in Prime because they need to get the back end off the old system onto the new and and all the stuff. So. The faster we get there, the faster they can start adding in new features. And um, you know, I I still think we we just push push for a skin for Redacted for the people who really just don't like the new look. Yeah, um, uh, I have because it's heard fair. People, yeah, say that visually it's so distracting. It's it's practically disorienting to them the way um, the the way it looks just the way it looks and so there's no getting around that other than yeah. with a skin and that's not that's not changing anything in the interface it's just a visual thing right yeah i don't know i don't know coding <laughs> i don't know I how mean, that works <laughs> i mean it, they would have to like create assets for any of the new stuff that they make but i think that's why they i think that it would be okay to charge for it you know do 10 bucks for the skin five bucks 10 bucks whatever feels right for the amount of work that they're going to have to do to maintain that skin. Um, and then they could, you know, possibly, you know, sell other skins or, you know, you can't really have user created skins for that sort of stuff because then it's easy to, to start doing some uh, weird stuff to borderline cheating. I think all suddenly invisible textures. I guess that doesn't matter in ingress so much. You'd be like, where's the portal? Can't see it. <laughs> oh, but I can shoot this dude through the wall. Well, that's not how the game works. But so anyway, but yeah, I, I, you know, I think, I think it would be a good thing. I think people could have that as a reason for leaving, you know? Like, yeah. But we'll see. Uh, I, I think like, for example, people like your wife who are having difficulty getting into Prime. And then she finds out she can't even go and use Redacted. She's going to be like, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I don't want to lose, like, the people who are fun and can have a good, go out, have a good time and enjoy themselves in Ingress. And then to to just, just kind of like, eh, like, all right, fine. And then they're gone. And it's like, oh, we lost yeah. all these, these potential fun times. But. Yeah. Because, I mean, the game is the community. And like without yeah, the community, okay. there is no game. And as a few people start dropping out of the community, just more people are going to drop out because those were the their friends. And yeah, those are the links for certain people. And yeah, and then it just tumbles, you know, at that point. So <sighs> it's like, well, I hope Wizards Unite's really good. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, it's not like, that bad. I, this is so <laughs> doom and gloom. It's not that bad. Try Prime, folks. Give it a good chance. I know <clears> it's it's frustrating to to learn like a whole new thing but give it a try just because i don't want to have to miss you guys yeah yeah and that you know this is why i'm saying niantic put that skin in there just just yeah. do it just do it it'll be worth it I promise i don't know if that's true but um so some other stuff in there a bunch of ux and ui changes which is always good. Hopefully fixing some of those things where you say, because it is kind of busy in some places. Mm -hmm. The colors uh, really, you know, make me want to have seizures and things every once in a while. And, you know, we don't want any of that. So um, this is good. They made some icons easier to tap on, which I, I got 
uh, hands-on experience with the whole tap disambiguation that they've created and, and put into the game. And sometimes it's great, and sometimes it's it's just annoying. But it was annoying before because it, it was in you know when you're trying to click on a portal and it gives you two, and you're like, you know the one I wanted. Why are you giving me both of those? Uh, it's it's just that, but then it's with keys or whatever. If there's a big pile of stuff, so that's great. Another great feature in Prime. But you got to be Prime to use it. So head on over, enjoy that, and naming capsules. Like talk about saving time. Like how many times have you gone through like ten capsules looking for that one key? You know, even the, those keys for that one area, or maybe keys is a bad thing because you probably keep it in like one colored capsule if you have the colored capsules but say you're looking for oh where did i have all those uh mods you know well now you can just name your capsule the mods. other day i made up uh yeah i made up capsules for my friends so i could name them their names <laughs> it was so much easier than having to write down the code like okay so and so gets you know qba4326 <laughs> and like having to keep that little list with me and then do the drops and the pickups and stuff and like no don't pick up that one that one's hers <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah no it was really nice just being like yep i dropped this one it's already full of so-and-so's gear boom it's just all prepared yeah because <clears throat> if i have x i i like to glyph hack so if i get like lots of extra stuff and someone else is gonna go blow up something i like to give them some stuff <laughs> <laughs> Well, and that's one thing with the the Wizards Unite game. It looks like glyphing is like their spell casting. So, yeah. Ingress players are going to have a, a leg up on on the competition out there. So, we're going to know how to cast some spells. It'll be interesting to see if there's any any uh, glyphs that oh, we recognize. That be funny, because the language, it, yeah, like you'd be like, oh, enlightened portal shapers. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Um, so what are they working on next? You may be asking, or maybe you're not asking, but they're going to be working on portal nominations in app access to support, support for shards, which not to, uh, be doom and gloom or throw out something else. Cause some people may love it. Uh, Mr. Krug was asking in his telegram channel. There's a poll right now about, uh, shards. Do you want to see shards? Um, I don't know. Do I? Go check out. I don't know. It depends on who you talk. It. I wasn't around when shards were out. It was... Yeah, I don't know what sh this is. So. In between... Like, I was taking a break from Ingress when, when shards were active. But uh, basically, they were... Um, you know, in, in like anomalies, they'll have shards, or they, they would when shards were in the uh, scanner. And it was basically just a thing that floated over a portal, and then you'd make links to another and it could jump to another portal so you're you know you're trying to get this shard somewhere well they did global shards where um i mean they had a certain amount all over the world and people were driving to these locations and like sleeping there for days weeks basically guarding the shard and then trying to get it to like a, a secure location uh that was like you know a heavily controlled for their faction area and so they would shoot these links and shoot the shards over there and people would be rushing and trying to get them. And, and it was just like this crazy like time. But I mean, people were doing just, just crazy insane things to wow. keep control of it. And I think I would be getting a divorce if it happened. Like my wife would not handle that well no. and be like, um, uh, can I work from my car this week? Like it would be difficult because I would want to get involved, but I just, I just really couldn't. And so I, I think it'd be interesting to see and experience, but it could also be detrimental to my family and job. So, yeah. So that's that. And, uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. You can read the, the uh, notes cause you don't want us to hit everyone. I promise you. I put some other stuff in here and now I did it a couple of weeks ago and now I'm not really sure what it means. Like what? So, like, uh, oh, now I know. So, there was a post on the Investigate Ingress okay. uh, Reddit that uh, they're mentioning uh, Colon in there, into some of their story. I feel like a lot of the storyline that's that's um, happening on the Investigate Ingress is leading us towards Colon. So, hopefully, we'll hear something soon. 
because it really feels like it's it's just really close, right? Do you remember when Colon no is the date? I don't know where they're going with that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just, I just watch it and like every time I watch one of those Dunraven videos, it's like, okay, I don't, I'm a little more lost than I was before. <laughs> well, and it's it's uh, the storylines. Um, I don't know. I'm enjoying it at the end here. But we're we're less than a month, twenty nine days. Yeah, for I'm about colon. Two behind on that too. So, yeah. So it'll be interesting to hear. I mean, they've got to announce that soon, right? I mean, they're not just gonna, or maybe they will. Maybe it'll be a secret. They just take them all there, the agents who are going, and they do their stuff, and then we find out afterwards what happened. Hmm? Total internal. Yeah, maybe. So. Uh, it'll be interesting to hear more about that. And if you haven't looked at the Investigate Ingress Reddit and you like some of the lore stuff, uh, go take a look. There's a lot of information there. Uh, it's being posted to uh, quite often now, regularly, like hourly. <laughs> Maybe not that fast, but a lot. Also, we, we had an announcement from NIA Ops about G Plus shutting down. So they're working on something. So... Any day now. That's good. Thanks That's for the notes. That's really good. <laughs> so. There were assumptions, but it's good to hear it. You yeah, know? right? <laughs> Let's say, where, have you seen anybody going anywhere yet? There's MySpace is open. Just remember, Justin Timberlake bought that place, and it's still around. We have a MySpace page. Can't say we post to it much, but it is there. So uh, head on over. And I guess we could talk about, well, we already kind of talked about um, Dunraven Foundation. New video just came out. Missed like, it. Like I yesterday. Yeah. 17. So Hank uh, meets with Jahan. Some okay. interesting stuff there. Now, there's there's one thing that I, someone who knows a lot of lore, this is probably for you, Pi, uh, someone else maybe, but uh, 13 Magnus. So in the video... Uh, they say that uh, 13 Magnus is 13 ENL sensitives, and the anti Magnus is the ENL equivalent. But, like, I didn't I understand that. Wouldn't it be the resistance equivalent if it was the opposite? So, I don't know if they misspoke or if I just don't know what I'm talking about or understand it, and I don't, obviously. So, um, someone let us know what that is. Someone in chat will probably. Um, let us know. So do that. And while you're thinking about it, looking it up, we're going to... This is 10% link, 20% fields, 15% concentrated power of shields, 50% XM, 5% control, and 100% asking what's in the cap. So, welcome back, Agent Sally Bally. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you, Agent J JBJ Blaze. That is another... What's in the capsule bumper? We appreciate that. Um, we have a couple submissions here. I don't know if you want to take... Which one do you want to take? I'll take the first one. Uh, just FYI, I don't know if we covered it or not, but um, if you have submitted something yeah. in What's in the Capsule in the last few weeks and we have not read it, uh, there was an issue. There was a... It's my glitch problem. in the matrix yeah <laughs> and um you'll have to resubmit that so uh but thank you i did have a, a local agent let me know that they had submitted something we went looking for it could not find it figured out why uh, we'll never find it but uh we do encourage you to resubmit it so that we can uh address it in the future and yeah. so Thank you so much for telling us, too, that you submitted something and we hadn't read it because otherwise we wouldn't have known that these weren't coming through because we do, we obviously do get some things for the capsule. So yeah. it was really. Yeah, there were like 50 submissions extra? in there. Yeah. And um, it was weird. Like some, because they get submitted to the website, but they're also supposed to be forwarded to the email and put into another document. Like it's this whole routing thing. But in the website, they were just putting in redacted. Like, that's all it said was redacted in the info. And I'm like, I, like, were we hacked? Like, I don't even get. But I found in the system where uh, I had, 
I, for some reason, turned something off that was supposed to be on. And anyway, it's fixed. Thank you for the help. Resubmit if you haven't heard. Yours. Yeah. So, because we, after these that we're reading today, we are all caught up on what's in the capsule. I know, like, sometimes we um, don't read all of them because of time and length and what have yous. Uh, but uh, we are all caught up to what we have. So, if we have not read yours, yes, please resubmit. Put it back in the capsule. <laughs> Put Edwina yeah. back in the bowl. All inside. Back in the bowl. Uh, back in bowl. Uh, <laughs> John, the today's first one for what's in the capsule is from John Errett. Uh, apologies if I didn't say that correctly, but he says I also switched to instinct. All of my enlightened teammates are on that team. Makes things simpler at farms, which can also be raids, and I agree. Oh. I did. We did go to like this really small local park this weekend, and it was the first time all three of us were the same team instinct. So um, we went, and it's this marsh preserve. So it's like nobody, like, we're like, oh man, nobody will be there. I didn't even know this place existed. We get there, the parking lot's full. <laughs> and like, it's freezing. Like, everything's iced over. Uh, like, there's nothing. Like, is there like a raid going on? No, <laughs> there's tons of portals. But then I was also because you know how trail markers can be portals. Yeah, I found tons of trail markers that hadn't been. Um, I don't know if they hadn't been submitted, but they hadn't been approved yet. So I just was submitting them left and right out there, so there'll be even more. And I had done, I had saw the pl- the place uh, a couple weeks ago, and I went ahead and put a mission in there, a real quick one, so that I could go and do it. <laughs> and nice. I, um, you know how sometimes, like, when you complete a mission, there's a delay before that you get the, like, thumbs up thing, or thumbs mm-hmm. down thing? Well, it, it was delaying, and I thought my screen had froze, so I was like, I went to hit it again, just as it popped up, and I thumbs down my <laughs> own mission <laughs> and i'm the only one who's ever done it so it has 100 percent negative feedback so, <laughs> like, so ah! it like if you do that just restart it and then cancel out and it'll ask you again and then you can say thumbs up because it's an on or off it's not like a total for you so it only yeah. counts your one i already I already did it so just um get within range a matter of fact can you Click on the portal, like do a remote view if you still have a key, and click on the missions and start the mission, and then cancel out. Oh, I don't know. You got homework, homework for next week. We want to know. So anyway, back on point with the team and stuff. We go no, like (laughs) yeah, we need to go to Pokemon Go instead. Yeah, uh, so (laughs) so like there were I think three gyms there. I want to say I think there were three gyms there. They were all yellow when we drove up. Each had one thing in there each, so we're like all right we can put our stuff in there so we put our stuff in there we're walking and we're leaving and we're freezing and as we're leaving this family's coming uh into the park and the guy's looking at his phone and he goes i hope you guys aren't those yellows in there (laughs) (laughs) i was like oh are you yellow too he goes nope (laughs) i was like oh no that's okay i was like we'll probably come back next week but he was He must have had a change of heart because he left everything alone. Oh, wow. He left us in there. So, that was uh, nice. Yeah, so now, like, nothing's hit our stuff since a couple days now. So, it's like, well, I don't, I don't know when are we're going to... Maybe I should have asked him to kick him. <laughs> Never going to get him back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so, anyway, it was really nice all being on the same team uh, as a family because then we could coordinate um, instead of... Instead of having that thing where you're like, okay, I'll take this one, you take the next one, so that we each get a gym, we could all just play together. It was super awesome. So, so now what happens if you come to a gym and it only has two spots open? Do y'all uh, flip a coin? I don't know. I haven't had that happen yet, <laughs> so I'm not sure. Mm. Hmm. We'll see. Oh, Maybe yeah. you might want to devise a system now so it does not create any issues when it happens. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, just carry straws with you. We'll draw straws right. for it. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, whoever is the highest ingress level. I think that should be... You go by ingress level. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, everybody should use that one. Yeah. Okay, so... 
Uh, next, we have one uh, submission from Winter Koi who says, I went to my first Ingress event March 1st, Saturday. I liked exploring the new area and getting a new banner. Overall, it was meh. I could have had fun just going solo on any day of the week. I didn't like how toxic the Ingress community is. Some were friendly, but there was a few that ruined the experience for me. We had uh, two restock portals going after the event, one for each faction. Resistance started destroying our resonators once we had enough to create a level 8 portal. Lost all mods and frack time. I didn't like the trash talking for being a pogo player. So that's interesting. That's, uh, I, I wonder if they've changed um, the ingress restocking portals to have one for each faction. I know when we did one it was a one portal and you shared it and so it didn't really matter who had it because you just hacked it once for your restocking supplies. So it didn't matter if it was being fracked. I think what what they're probably talking about is they probably had like a farm going afterwards and they were just farming. That's a little crappy. Yeah. I mean, the whole point the whole point of first setter I mean, I understand like competition's competition and you know, all's fair and war and war. But um during first Saturday, it seems like there's a truce because you're all working together, you're you're walking around the town together and you're getting to know each other as people and and uh building up some of the relationships perhaps you've damaged over the year right. or the month or whatever. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and like kind of remembering like, oh yeah, they're humans and they're nice. <laughs> right. Right. Um Hopefully, that's I don't know, but see, that's me being naive. I've never been to a first Saturday, so that's just how I believe they should be. I, th but. I think it's yeah. I think it, it depends a lot on the specific community you're going to. I mean, some have a much more contentious relationship locally than other areas. Usually, it's going to be harder to get an event going there in the first place. Uh, but it, you could be running to that, or just you know, people coming in in from out of town and, and all it really takes is one person to be a jerk at those things. And it, yeah. Yeah. You, know? you could have 20 great people and one bad person and it kind of ruins everything. And there's no way to like make anyone stop doing something jerky either if it's just one person. So, you know, if you're, if you're there for the, you know, the cross faction kind of relationships, you know, maybe save the farm to later hit the restock and then you know talk to the enlightened folks there if you just want to farm and go somewhere else later and the resistance yeah. can go somewhere else but while you're there just you know maybe talk more have a have a drink do something you know not yeah. in ingress talk about ingress with, with everyone else and then go to the farm later i um I, yeah and i don't understand the trash talking of about you know making fun of Pokemon Go players because yeah. um, a lot of people learned about Ingress because of Pokemon Go. So why rip on them because they found out about something and then enjoy it with you? Like I don't know, it's super weird. And then I don't know. The whole thing with Pokemon Go is it's a different game. I think it scratches that different itch for different types of gameplay, and so. I don't know, leave people alone and play games. Like who I don't even know. I don't know a lot of people who just play one game. And if but if that's you and you just play one game, that's fine. But just understand other people like to play a variety of things and that's okay. Like your phone holds more than one game. So it's <laughs> it's fine. Sometimes three or four. It's okay. It's okay for people to like things. <laughs> yeah. I like liking things. I don't know. And I would say that if you are trash talking Pokemon Go players. Do it at the farm later too. <laughs> like, like don't don't do it in front of the Pokemon Go players. I mean, there are some really nice Pokemon Go players that were Ingress players, are future Ingress players, and it's going to be the same thing with Harry Potter. Like, it's going to bring in just a whole new crowd. And like we were talking about community earlier, please think about everybody's community at that point. There's a way to get along with each other, and there's a way to introduce another game to people who are going to be sharing the same spaces as you. I mean, they're going to be there playing their games. You know, be nice. Like, it, we had a farm uh, 
the other night and this car drove up and it was really cold so some people were in their cars hacking and some were you know out and and talking some were talking from the car well i thought well a couple of us thought this car people were some new players that we hadn't met in person yet so i go up there and i'm like saying hey you know i you know thanks for coming out to the you know the farm and uh um, you know, we're going to start fracking any minute and I'm Aiden Goonie guy and who are y'all? And they told me, I was like, I've never heard those names before, but I go off talking to someone else. It turns out they were Pokemon go players. They're like doing a raid and they're like, who is this crazy guy? Just coming up to the car. Like, You're doing what to the what? <laughs> right. Like no clue. Uh, so, oh, dude. but they could be Ingress players tomorrow. And yeah. You know, if I was a jerk for them and they just happen to get into Ingress, do you think they're going to come be on my faction? Or do you think they're going to go to the other faction? That's the other thing. Um, so, yeah. anyway. And if you there's, then let them know, like, if there's the... There are issues that that is fair for people to be upset about that seem to happen more when the Pokemon first started because there were so many people. And it was just a group kind of thing. So many people, something's going to happen. And... You know, people dropping trash or stuff like that. And if there was 10 times more Ingress players at that location, it would have been happening from them, too. It's just the amount of people. Um, but you can let people know, hey, you know, don't stand on the gravestones. It's not really cool, you know. Let's uh, let's come over here. This is where we normally stand. This is a good place, and we're respectful, and we pick up our trash, and... Yeah, there's a definite cool. etiquette that needs to be learned uh, whenever you start playing these games. And friendly, yeah, mentions is a lot easier than just yelling or making fun of people. Um, so I don't know. And you're, I don't know, the hard part for this person, though, is they're obviously an Ingress player. They went to a first Saturday. And then, like, why mock them for playing? For, I don't know. Doesn't sound like they're going to go back to... For Saturday, oh, for Saturday. Right? no, yeah. not in their community anyway. Um, I'm sorry you had that experience. I'm sorry it was like that. Um, I got, I got, I wasn't there. I have no, no idea. Yeah. Why well, some? But part of the thing too is like you were saying, like you have a game that's free. It's open to the public. Anyone can download it. So you're, you're gonna get a sample of the population that's a turd occasionally, and that's just the unfortunate thing of how people are <laughs> yeah and, and i think it's up to us as you know well the podcast and listeners and, and people who are interested in doing something positive in those sort of situations is to come up with ideas well what can you do if something like that starts happening? how can we make this a, a better situation so people aren't upset at the end of the day um what's the best thing let us know what would you do what what would be some of your ideas maybe some other options um for keeping that from happening. Like at our first Saturday, we actually put in the, the welcome letter, you know, basically leave your beefs at the door. And if, if you do basically start something, you will be asked to leave the premises, um, which we were in a, in a, a bar and, and knew the owners and um, it c could take that stance. But, you know, we could also try to push for them not to be allowed to have the badge, which wouldn't work. But um, maybe that's something they could add in. Even though that can get abused. But anyway, send us your ideas. Let us yeah. know. Hmm. Well, I like that idea. Just that community support of just even just saying, like, just that notice of like, hey, this and this and this isn't acceptable here. And so just being clear about that behavior right from the start, um, I think would help a lot. Uh, some people, they might enjoy trash talking. Like, I know when I'm in a fantasy football group i am brutal i love i love to just tear into my friends so much but i have that relationship with them you know we love each other but i'm like ah, oh, i just really like to go at them um so and a lot of ingress players have been playing together for a really long time perhaps you know a this is a, just a hypothetical this is not what happened here but um you know, I could totally see a situation where someone went to it for Saturday. They've been playing with these people for years and they have a camaraderie where they know they talk smack to each other. Right. This is me being naive again, I know. <laughs> no, it could be. <laughs> that it's friendly trash talk. But obviously, if this person was news the first time there, you know, 
you don't really have that experience. You don't have that, uh, that level of friendship, that bond with somebody to just start off that way. Um, not everyone enjoys that type of talk or, or you know, competitive yeah. banter anyway. or stabbing. If there were stabbing involved, either one. Yeah. We have yeah. some friendly stabbings every once in a while. Wow. I didn't, I'm not well, that friendly right? shiving. Sorry. <sighs> but yeah, if you see that go down, you know, just are y'all friends? And they go, yeah, yeah, we're friends. Well, <laughs> Okay. All good then. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. No, I think that's a, that's a, a very good good point. Like it's easy to misconstrue something if it's like your first time there and they could be they could have like a, a super rivalry with, you know, just a couple of people and they could be j- joking around too. But um if not, you know. Yeah. More than likely it's probably a little boil over of some toxic stuff that happens. <laughs> Right. Just yeah. Mm. Just focus on the happy, nice people you met there. Yeah, go on with that. Build yeah. that up. Yeah. <laughs> Make that the experience. Yeah. And if it happens where I am, I'll give you my bursters. You can have them. I'll go farm later. Boom. Okay, so um I think that leads us to well, we don't have a bumper for this one yet, so Okay. We'll just say this is the agent debrief. Bam. Bam. <laughs> and a little bit of both, right? The bumper. Yeah. I feel go. I feel like there was something else. Um, oh, I was going to do a Camp Hilo thing this week because someone was asking right. like what that was. And just a quick little something that I learned this week. This was on uh, Reddit, and I thought it was interesting. I did not know this was a thing. I, I've always used... I probably shouldn't say it, but I've always used IITC to do like field plans and stuff. Please no. don't, please don't ban me. I did it with uh, uh, someone else's account, though. No, I mean, uh, what? No, just kidding. Uh, anyway, so on the stock Intel, apparently, if you you know you can make the links, yeah, between portals. Apparently, you can do like That's forty cool. links, and build a, a plan out on there, and if you share your URL, then it'll have all those links on it for the other yes. person so you can share it across yeah that's what i do so, i use iitc i use that yeah that seems like a big pain in the butt still but <laughs> i'm glad it's in there and then it's yeah, at it least fine. something it works fine man it may work fine until you try iitc and then you go oh my god because it's so painful to make those links and then like ah it's failed it's not working but whatever, it's a thing. So anyway, the I love uh, that you came up with a campilo and then crapped on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I thought it was interesting that it was there. <laughs> so for all those people who don't want to use IETC, there it's you go. Me. So, and they probably already know that it works like that. It's just the yeah. people who use IETC who uh, probably already know too. But oh well. That's funny. So go get your Camp Hilo t-shirt. They're in the store. Yeah, yeah. We got a shop now. It's got stuff. We do have a shop. Check the website. I, I made a new shirt for our local group. I don't know if anybody would like one, but I'm anyway. That's another story for another time. Go get your code for this show. And remember, don't get that code for the other show if you didn't listen. This show though, the code is AA03 AA. That is the date. If you didn't catch that one. That is some coded stuff right there. Right. Don't be trying to decipher any codes on Investigate Ingress if you didn't get that one. But that's AA03 AA. And don't forget, the shows are now live streamed on Mondays. We'll release some audio usually Tuesday, video maybe Wednesday, maybe later. Maybe. Just depends how busy the week's going. But you always got the audio. And once again, thank you so much. It's been another wonderful evening talking ingress with you, Agent Zelly Belly. I had a good time. I'm sorry if I got too luxury. I don't know. It seemed like a. No. I don't know, a not at all. Show. Yeah, it was a heavy show this week. Yeah, that was a good one. All right. Good show. It deserves one of. See y'all next week. Bye.